These applications deal with work. So it's important to understand with work that a lot of this is dealing with power. And power, the formula for power, is work done divided by time taken. So work done divided by time taken. So that's kind of what we're going to deal with here is when we know that together, if my friend and I can get this garage done in two hours, we get a hundred bucks. So we're going to look at my power that I'm contributing to the job and the friend's power that's contributing to the job to see if we can in fact, you know, get this question or get this job done. So my work would be that I can do one job, so that's the work that I've done, in time taken three hours. I can do one job in three hours. I know that my friend can do one job in five hours. So the question is, can I do one job in T hours? So basically I'm going to solve for T to find out what's the total time that it's going to take my friend and I to clean out this garage. My goal is to have that T be two or less because that means score, we get a hundred bucks. So let's talk about how to solve this. I know in order to solve an equation that has fractions in it, the easiest way is to take everything times the denominator. So my denominator in this case would be to take everything times 15 T. So that's what I'm going to do is take everything times 15 T because I don't like dealing with fractions. So if I take this times 15 T, I end up with five T plus same thing here, three T equals dividing by that T I get 15. Five T and three T gives me eight T and then of course, dividing by eight, I get 15 eighths or one and seven eighths. And that of course is in hours. So what that tells me is that my friend and I working together gives me a time of one and seven eighth hours. So can we clean the garage in enough time to make our hundred bucks? Yes, we can because one and seven eighths hours is under two hours. Here is a similar question for you to try on your own. Press pause, try the question, then press play to check your work. So again, we have been now hired because we did such a great job on the garage to paint 16 offices at Bellevue University. You can paint an office in 30 minutes, but it takes your friend 45 minutes. How long would it take to paint just one office? And how long if we painted all 16 offices? So again, this is two separate questions. Hopefully you caught that as you worked through it. We're going to do it the same way. I know that I can do one job in 30 minutes, but I want to turn that into hours. So 30 minutes over 60 minutes would be one half of an hour. My friends can do one job in 45 minutes, which of course, 45 over 60 reduces to three fourths of an hour. And total, I'm asking one job, how much time, which I'm just gonna call it T or X. So now I have to solve this. This one's a little bit different because I've got fractions within fractions. So remember that when I'm dividing by one half, it's the same, essentially the same as me multiplying by two. So I'm gonna say two, plus this is actually four thirds equals one over T. So when I'm deciding what to multiply by so that I don't have all of this crazy fractions going on, I'm going to multiply everything by three T. So again, I did that, I'll go through that step again. One divided by one half is like one times two over one. So I'm multiplying by the reciprocal which gave me the two. Same thing here, one divided by three, third, four, <laughs> three fourths gave me one times four thirds or four thirds. So that's where I got those two values. And then of course this one I didn't change at all. 
Multiplying by 3t gives me 6t here, gives me those 3s would then cancel on this fraction, which gives me 4t, and 1 over t times 3t would give me 3. I would then add 6t plus 4t is 10t. So I know that the time it would take is 3 tenths of an hour. And if I wanted to turn it into minutes, I would take 3 tenths times 60, which would be 18 minutes. Now, if we're doing all 16 offices, do I have to do an equation like this again? Well, I already know that together that it would take 3 tenths of an hour. So I would really just take 16 times 3 tenths which would give me 48 tenths or 4.8 hours. Again, if I wanted to turn that into hours and minutes, I would say that's four hours. And then I would take 8 tenths times 60. Oops, <laughs> not over zero. Woo, goodness, I haven't had enough caffeine today. 8 over 10 times 60 over 1 which would of course give me 48, so four hours and 48 minutes would be for all of the offices. So 18 minutes for one office or four hours, 48 minutes for all of the offices.